Gray Man's back. And today I'm going to make some sea bass. Now, you know, I'm not a big fish lover with the heads, like, you know, some of these people, especially in Europe, they make it with the whole head and the tail. That kind of, you know, I'm used to the, do the fillet thing. So I had the, the guy, the fishmonger, as some people call him, uh, fillet it. I got two nice fillets. And uh, I cooked one yesterday, and today I'm going to cook the other, show you how I did it. Also, I got these Cipollini, Cipollini mushrooms, or, yeah, mushrooms. They look like mushrooms. They're um, onions. And I'm going to boil them, and then I'm going to put them in a pan and brown them, and then I'm going to put some balsamic vinegar on there with a, with a what's what's called agrodolce. Agrodolce. In other words, what it is is um, sweet and sour. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to cut these here. Just to cut the tops off here, get the top off. That's one, two, then we're going to take the little thing here. And I usually do this over the sink because I got the advantage of having the, the uh, garbage disposal here. So you take all the skin off. Just, there you go. Now I'm going to put them in a pot of boiling water, and what that does is it cooks them a little bit ahead and uh, makes them easier. Then I put them in the pan and do what I got to do. All right, so they're going in the water now. Got the water boiling, going in, woo -hoo -hoo. hot. Okay, that's going in there. I might need a little more water in there. Looks like it boiled away. Put hot water in. All right, now what we're going to have in this dish is we're going to have chili pepper, garlic of course, cherry tomatoes always, olives, at the end we're going to put parsley, capers, I got in here, I got broccoli, fennel, and carrots, which I already cooked, because those vegetables are a little hard, and I wanted to cook them ahead of time, because they're not going to be in the pan too long, because the fish don't take long, three, four minutes, and it's done, so, Capers, I you got to remember one thing about the capers. They were a little salty, and what you got to do is you got to put them in the water and then take some of the salt out of them. All right, now, always traditional glass of wine. Salud. All right, now what I'm going to do, oh, the fish. Yeah. All right, now here's the fish over here. Got this piece of fish. Got this piece of fish here. Nice piece of fish. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to trim it up a little bit. Get some of that off. And, you know, throw that in the sink. Get the end off here. Throw that in the sink. And maybe that looks pretty good. Okay, now, the secret to it is you got to cut the skin a little bit. You got to score, score it. And you got to score it all the way. To each end, because if it happens is, if you don't do it all the way, if you don't do it all the way, it'll, it'll just kind of like bunch up on you, like, like, uh, it'll shrink up, the outside will shrink up, and it'll make it like cupped. All right, so, got a sharp knife to get through this skin, man, it's a tough skin. My knife needs a little sharpening, and you cut them through. All the way to the end. Got to do, got to season it up. Salt. And you want to make sure the salt gets in all them little cracks, see? I got to make sure that this goes right to the end. Every one goes to the end. Now, I heard tell that you can use a utility knife to do this. I imagine you could. Man, I don't want to cut. Okay. All right, the other side. Okay, up here. All right, now, pepper. Pepper. Now, I like to use this stuff, so I want to get me a little bit coarser ground. I don't fucking care. 
cranking it. What the heck are you cranking there? Cranking your horns, you know? My mother will say, what are you cranking? Cranking your horns? On the other side, put a little pepper there. It don't matter that much on there, but it gets in the cracks. Okay, I'm going to put it in. Then we're going to hit it with a little olive oil. A little olive oil. I told you about olive oil, right? Popeye. That's it, and you rub that in. Okay, that's pretty much ready to go. All right, Let's see what happens. Okay, they're ready to go. Close them down. Now we're going to get a pan over here. I'm going to do them first. Butter. Boom. Turn on the heat. It's already melting. It's already melting. Now the agro dolce, dolce is sweet. Agro, I guess, is part of aggravation. Maybe that's where they get the word aggravation. Sour. Anyway, um, going to use sugar with it. Now, I don't use sugar on a regular basis, and uh, so I don't have any. So I said, well, what the heck, I'm going to go to the store and get sugar. No idea. So I go here to local 7-Eleven, you see, and I go get a coffee in the morning, but I don't use sugar, and I put sweet in love because I, I want to keep the sugar content down. So there's my sugar. I got three packs of them. Done. All right, now I'm going to put the onions in there. Sorry if it gets a little brown. doesn't matter that much. I'm going to turn the heat down. Turn the heat down. Get some butter on all sides. All right, now, pan. I'm going to use this pan because it's easier. Olive oil, of course. Abundant. Some people say abundant. Maybe three tablespoons. That looks like about 20, but I don't know. You ever notice, you ever notice some of these chefs, they go, a bit of, a pinch of salt or a bit of salt, they put like a ton. A bit of pepper, they go, blah, blah, blah. A bit of olive oil, they're dumping a half a gallon in. What's a bit? What defines a bit? Now, uh, you know, I'm cooking with, with electric here, as you can see. And you know something? People say, ah, electric cooking's no good. Can't control it. Yes, you can. I've seen people cook on, people in England, they cook on a flat plate, like the old-time stove. It's just a flat plate with the gas underneath it. They're not changing it. They take it off, they move it around. I've seen people cook on a wood stove, on a wood fire, charcoal, with a grate, you know, underneath. It doesn't matter that much. It's just a matter of knowing how much to, to move it around. Okay, these are getting browned out. All right, man, we're doing it. Now, one thing I want to say while we're talking here is that, you know, I'm do trains, okay? Hold on, i got to get another drink. Okay, I do trains. All right, well, the train thing, guys on the train site get mad at me for doing these videos. They want to see me do machine shop stuff. You know, I've been doing machine shop for 50 years, standing in front of machines. There's nothing I don't know about those machines. And I'm just tired of doing it. But I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my cooking video. I'm going to start another channel particularly for that. And I'm still going to do my videos back at the shop. So, All right, now, this here is getting hot, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. All right, so now we're going to do... And you're going to put the fish in, skin side down. And that's going to start cooking. i got to try to keep the center down. About a minute, a minute and a half. Then we're going to turn it over. I can see it's starting to come up on air. I need my fish slice. This is an important tool. Man, this is an important tool when you're cooking fish. You need this thing. And Charlie Butch, I got oop comes up here. Whack! I'm gonna whack him right with this. You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about.
All right, now we're going to put that side on. All right, doing good. Now, wine. Wine goes in. About a half a cup. Lower the heat a little bit. That's going to make a little bit of the juice. Balsamic vinegar in. Now that's going to reduce down. Sugar, three packs, 7 Eleven. In. One, two, three. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Throw it around. Put this off the heat for a minute. Okay, now put that out of the way. Come back over here to the fishy fish. Turn that off. Move this. Now we put all the rest of the stuff in. Where's my machine? Watch that. Water. It's all right. Don't worry about it. All right, now where's the other vegetables? We put them in. Capers in. Boop. Vegetables in. Vegetables in. Now we're going to basically warm them up till they. This is easy to make. This is almost done. There's no other herbs. I'm going to turn this on a little bit. All right, cover it. Cover it. That's almost done. Now we're almost done with that. I'm going to put the parsley in in a minute, but in the meantime, we've got to get a plate out. We don't use a white plate today. Everybody wants to use white plates, you know. And anyway, I gotta get another drink of fish the wine here. Salud. Alright, now the parsley goes in, throw that in. That'll cook down. When that's done, it's almost ready. Okay, let's do the onion first. Let's do the onion first. We'll use the fish slice. Drizzle on top, butter and that agrodolce. Put that in there. Put it on this side. Oh man, look at that. There we go. Sea bass, fennel, chili peppers, carrots, broccoli, cherry tomatoes, olives, capers, I believe I said, or if I didn't, I did. And uh, it's a delicious dish. Cipollini onions, caramelized with some balsamic vinegar and so on, a little sugar. So it's an agrodolce. All right. Thanks for watching the videos. Appreciate it very much. Um, all the subscribers, people make comments. It's great. And I enjoy making this. I enjoy cooking. And uh, we'll see you again on the next cooking session. So thanks for watching. Oh, and remember, I am living proof that anybody can do this. Anybody can cook.